So we're making roast salmon with uh, red wine sauce and a side of roasted artichokes. So I'm gonna kick off with the roasted artichokes, thing that people look at in the fruit shop and sort of think it's ginger, but it's not. Once I peel them, they'll go straight into the, the lemon water. Uh, that will assist uh, the artichoke not going brown, okay, or oxidizing. It's a lovely winter veg vegetable, Jerusalem artichoke. I love it. This always makes me think of winter. I think soup is probably the best way of serving them. To cook our artichokes, duck fat. I mean, nothing better than salmon and duck fat. And, you know, I love just confing salmon in, in duck fat. I think it's the most beautiful flavour. So lots of duck fat. So in there, peeled shallots, whole cloves of garlic. Because oh. they're absolutely delicious. And that's, you know, look, that, that's winter. Food. Already winter. Good crack of salt. You know, I like also, with the duck fat, a little bit of olive oil, because I think it just adds a nice flavour. Now the artichokes can go in. These should take, you know, eight to ten minutes to cook, and they'll be nice and tender. So to go with our artichokes, garlic, shallots, and, of course, the salmon, we've got this beautiful pancetta here. Laid on greaseproof paper. Another tray on top. Into the oven. 180 degrees for about 10 minutes until they're nice and crisp. And you've got these beautiful little shards of bacon flavour goodness. I'm going to finish off the sauce. And basically what's happened here is the red wine, port and a little bit of vinegar have reduced down to form quite a rich glazy sauce. Now I'm going to put a touch of stock in there. Not necessary. But it's just to sort of round out the flavour. So I'll bring that up to the boil and then I'm going to strain that through a muslin cloth. I'm just going to dice some butter up and then I'm going to monte that butter or work that butter into the sauce so it's nice and silky and smooth. And the butter will round out that red wine, any of the acidity on the red wine. And then you'll notice what I'm doing is just swirling it around rather than, rather than whisking. Ooh, I love that smell of bacon. I think I'm a bit like Homer in many ways. <laughs> Homer. Butter it. Butter it oh, that's bacon. Good. It's good pancetta though, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at that. So Gary, I'm ready. I've got the shallots, the garlic and the uh, artichokes that have been sort of confied, roasted mm. in, the, in the duck fat. Looks good. Um, and the salmon's about to come out of the oven. Beautiful. So I'm going to just put a touch of butter in there and I'm just going to finish it with some fresh thyme. Look, sometimes it's difficult to tell, you know, if it's cooked or not. A good indicator for me is that when you see sometimes there's that, those little, little bits of white protein that come out on the fish, then you know that it's cooked. And we'll just lift these out onto some paper. So I need to take the string off this, George. Yep. Like a surgeon, aren't you, Gary? I am a bit of a surgeon, aren't I? I'm just going to put the sauce on the bot bottom of the tray rather than on the top, so we'll drop those in. So a few artichokes. A couple of chicken wings. Ooh. Ooh. Some celery leaf, which we just drop in. And of course, some of our crisp pancetta. I like it, you know, left whole. I don't think we need to no, crush that's that. perfect. So there it is, that's our roasted salmon with Jerusalem artichokes, pancetta, and red wine sauce. Just make sure when you cook it, that you don't overcook the salmon, obviously. You want it so it's nice and pink in the centre. Should be just warm to touch on your lip. If you do cook it on the bone, then I think, you know, even if you're a little bit scared, just pierce it with a knife and have a look. The little red wine sauce that I made, again, you know, you can use flavours like the salmon bones, the shallots, thyme that we used, the red wine. You've created a stock that can be reduced and made into a sauce, either by adding a touch of cream, a little bit of butter, or just the reduction in itself, which is perfectly pleasant. You could add a touch of oil to that stock at the end and end up with a, a vinaigrette. My top tip for artichokes is peel them, get them straight into uh, lemon water so they don't oxidise. That's, that's mandatory. Justine, would you like to come and try? Mm. It's really good. It's um, all different flavours, like you're going on a little journey in there. Christmas in July, do you think? Christmas in July. Mm. Mm. I think so too. Thanks, Justine. Thank you. I've never had salmon with red wine, so I'm looking forward to it's this. It's a great combination. What do you think? It's all the bacon, the chicken wings and the salmon all work together, do you think? Yeah, all Go classic. On. I 
It's an amazing wintry dish. So in this week's invention test, you had a pair of ingredients. One of them was chocolate. Poe, tell us about your dessert. My dessert was a deep fried meringue and I stuffed it with chopped up chocolate, chestnut puree and orange peel. And this was a retry of a dish that you tried before in one of the other challenges. It was a deep fried meringue. Yes. What did you put in it? The thing that I was lacking was half corn flour and half plain flour yep. and no sugar in it. This one, you've nailed it. This is fantastic. I love it. That's got the lightest texture to it. It's like a donut, but it's, it's so light. It was good. Really, really impressive. It's, it was my dish of the week, I think. I'm going to make a chocolate, peanut and pistachio cigar. And we're going to serve that with an egg nog sabayon. Lucas? Yes. Do you want to come up and help me? Absolutely. So today, we're making quite a simple dish when you think about it. Sabayon, basically egg yolks that have been flavoured with alcohol and sugar over a double boiler. And you whip it up until it's nice and light and fluffy. Now, rather than doing it the old school way, which is still a, a great way of doing it, we're going to do it a little bit modern. And this is called a thermo mix. And what a thermo mix does, it chops and cooks. And it holds it at a specific temperature. So you're not losing all those beautiful flavours. So get your pens ready. Five egg yolks, go straight in there. 100 grams of caster sugar. A teaspoon of nutmeg. A little splash of orange juice. Some vanilla extract. A good teaspoon of that. How's that? Beautiful. Just use your finger and get that off. And then, of course, rum. A good splash of that. Lid on. And then we need to get the time done first, so we want it on for eight minutes. Oh. So eight minutes, 80 degrees, on speed four. And walk away. Eight minutes later, fresh, delicious sabayon. Right, so while the sabayon's cooking, Lucas, we're going to make our peanut, pistachio and chocolate cigars. Yeah. We've got 200 grams of peanuts that have been toasted in the oven and just pounded up with a mortar and pestle, 200 grams of pistachios and 200 grams of dark chocolate melted. So if you can mix all three together, that'd be fantastic. Do you ever salt these? Yes, definitely. When I roast the peanuts off, a little bit of salt just to bring out the oil and also the flavour. Also like to pop a little bit of honey in there. Just one tablespoon of honey. Let's fold that in. Yep, and just mix that all together. It's a bit of a play on baklava in many ways, like a chocolate baklava. Beautiful. So we've got our mix of peanuts, pistachios, chocolate, honey, ready to go. Filo pastry and clarified butter. Okay, so we know what clarified butter is. Into a pot, low heat, and what happens is the fat separates from the liquid, which is the, the milk, and what we want is that fat. First step is butter the sheet really well. We need to go three sheets high. Be a bit liberal, get lots of butter on there. We love it. Some key points, of course, about phyllo pastries. Have the phyllo pastry out at room temperature. Don't use it straight out of the fridge or it will crack. Number two is you need to work quickly or the phyllo pastry dries. Now, get the next layer on. OK, just make sure. Now, brush again. Just put a cloth over the phyllo pastry so it doesn't dry. OK. Beautiful. It's good, Lucas. To make the first one, cut in half and then turn it around. Because we want, you know, beautiful little cigars, not big, stumpy cricket bats. Right. We just make sure the mix is layered perfectly. OK. We tuck in all the ends. Clarified butter. Yeah. So, so really important to work quickly or else it cracks. Also important that you brush them with clarified butter. I'm going to get you to make one, Lucas. Yeah, you're rolling a fat one, yeah? So you've got to tuck the ends over. Oh, OK. Yeah. OK. 
Okay. And then brush the edges. And let's see how your one stacks up against mine. Yeah. In my pastry chefs make these ones, caramel, salt and peanut butter ones. And they make them like really thin. They've got the touch. It's not bad, Lucas. Yeah, OK, cigar. Also, it's really important that the crease faces down on the tray. So when you're baking it, if the crease is on the top, it's going to fold open. Lucas, do you want to pop them in the oven? 180 degrees for about eight minutes, nice and golden brown. So top tips for this dessert. Filo pastry, make sure it's at room temperature. Don't use it out of the fridge or it's going to crumble. Be quick with the filo pastry or it's going to dry out. If not, cover it with a wet cloth. So that's eight minutes. The pistachio, peanut and chocolate cigars have been in the oven for eight minutes. Do you want to pop them out? Yep. They look Beautiful. delicious. So a little dusting of icing sugar. Our sabayon is ready to go. In a nice martini glass. One of these little fellas just over the top. And there you have it. A little sabayon of rum, nutmeg, and uh, chocolate cigar with peanuts and pistachios. Beautiful. Finished? Hey. Oh, look at that. It's brilliant. Try, boys. Yeah, yeah. Dip, it, dip it in here. It's best out of the bowl. How's that? Well, oh, that's lovely. Lovely and sweet and smooth and creamy and warm, too. Mmm. There's not much to say, but gorgeous. Mm. Nutty, chocolate, rum, sweet. Mm. Beautiful. Lucas, thank you, mate. Thanks, guys. Great job. Cheers. Cheers. And Thanks your cigars good. look good, huh? Yeah, they're good. Thank you.